Hey, Steve here. I want to talk to you about Double Dutch 2, the bot. This is next generation horse betting software. Okay, in 2019, we gave you Double Dutch 2, the spreadsheet and the online software. So it gave you the capabilities of putting on bets using two Dutches in the same race to come out a winner. Now we've done something even better and it's been asked for by um, over four or five hundred people have um, had the XL Double Dutch 2 and now that they've always kept saying the same thing, Steve, how can we get it automated? So what we've done for you in 2020, we haven't been coughing and sneezing, we have been hard at work with the programmers to develop the automated Double Dutch 2 betting bot for horses. So now we are offering the lazy man or woman the automatic betting approach using this powerful Double Dutch 2 staking plan. What is Double Dutch 2? Well this is a Dutch betting but it uses two separate Dutches within the same race covering if not all the races, all the runners sorry, then certainly the most winning chanced ones. Using the staking plan to track each Dutch within the bot we call them DD1 and DD2. Most times you will have one Dutch will win and obviously one will lose. And when the, one of the Dutches wins, this ends the series and starts a new series and a profit is booked. When a Dutch loses, there is a recovery staking method and that is handled in the staking, in the, in the Excel spreadsheet as we uh, did last time. But now the bot's going to be handling that. Should we have one of the two Dutches sustain a losing streak, so say double Dutch one has four or five or a dollar value on the losing streak, then you can tr have a transfer option where you can share the recovery with the Dutch that has already been winning. So you're not extending your um, recovery staking, you're transferring some of it onto the winning Dutch. Keep in mind that probably 95% of all Dutch all races are going to be a winning race for you if your odds are high enough. If you keep a tighter band of range then obviously you won't get the same strike rate but you won't have to have the same recovery rate as well. So whilst pursuing a profit we, we invoke this transfer system. What's the bot? Some of you might not know what the bot is. Well the bot is the name that we give to betting software and it fits directly into Betfair on your Betfair account. So you log into your Betfair account through the bot and the bot bets on that account for you. You can still use your Betfair account to do other betting but the bot also has access to it while you have got it on. And the bot bets to the instructions that you set up. Now you set up the instructions, this is a once off operation unless you want to fine tune it. If you want to micromanage it that's fine. You can uh, change the settings and tweak the settings as the bot is in progress. This is a hands-off software. It means you're not physically making any bets. It works without you having to do anything except turn it on and turn it off after set, after you've set up after the setup's been completed. There's no manual betting required, so the software does the betting for you. Plus, it can bet under the bet fair minimum, which is very important if you're doing dutching. Say you're dutching seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven horses in a race then you're not going to be wanting to, to bet the minimum on the, uh, the 40 to 1 horse, are you? So that is a very important part of the betting bot. What does the double dutch bot do? Well this bot makes the bets on the two dutches in each of the qualifying races. What I mean by qualifying races is you have it set. You may want, I've got mine set from 6 runners to 14 runners. So if the race is not, if there's more runners or less runners then that's not a qualifying race. I also have it set for the favourite to be um, higher than odd, uh, than even money. So if the favourite in the race is 1.6 or 1.7, then that's not a qualifying race. So it, it sorts out the races that qualify. It does the staking for each horse to make the Dutch complete. That's what some of the gripe was with the XL was by the time you put the prices and the odds in and then work out the stake and then go into the race, the stakes have changed. That doesn't happen with this. This puts the bets on simultaneously so as soon as it works out how much should be staked the bets placed. Now if the prices are shifted down 
there's a, there's an option in there, and, and you can see that in the user guide, where it will take the SP price. So it won't stop, it won't miss out on the horse. You'll just get a slightly lesser odds. It does the transfer for the staking between the two duchess when required. If one duchess had, say, four or five losing bets, then it will transfer some of its target onto the, onto the other dutch, so it doesn't have such a high target to get. So it balances it out. The bot does that automatically. It triggers a stop loss if needed. If you've got a stop loss figure and it's reached, then the bot will trigger that and it will either restart a new series or stop betting for the day, depending on what you put in it. Or there's a stop profit target if you set it. You may say, I want £10 profit for the day. When it hits the £10, the bot will stop. That's already in there. It records all the bets for you to review and research. Very important. Uh, it shows you a profit and loss plus the win-lose tally of, of each of the cycle. So that's visible for you so you can uh, make decisions if you want to micromanage it. And, uh, and have a more of a hands-on effect, you can do that. The records can be um, exported into Excel, so you can go through them and uh, see, you know, for example, where you're getting let down or where you're missing, where you're missing some of the duchess. Maybe you've got your odds set too low for that country, depending. Different countries work differently. There's three separate working cycles within the bot allowing three different cycles now what we mean by cycles is these are completely completed strategies within the bot so there's three different ones you can have say one for UK one for Ireland one for Australia you may want one where you include the odds on favorite you may have one where you don't want the favorite you may have one where you want the favorite to stay in, in, the, in the losing Dutch all the time or you may want the favourite to rotate between, like it does in a spreadsheet, from one side to the other. It's it's up to you. But there's three separate cycles in there, so effectively three bots within the one bot. This is what the Double Dutch Bot 2 looks like. Very similar to our other bots, except that when you open it up inside, there's a bit more to it. Plus you've got the Double Dutch, if you click on the Double Dutch tab, It'll show you the Dutches and it'll show you the percentage of the Dutch. This is 51% of the race. This is 33% of the race. So, and there's our settings there, but that's all covered in the user guide. Now, this bot has many settings so that you can customize it to your own sort of settings. The bot comes with a default setting straight out of the box, which you can start with and then develop. That is only a 10p target or a 10 cent target so you can uh, hit the ground running without having to worry about too much with the default setting as I said before there's three separate cycles so you can set three completely independent strategies whether they be field sizes um, odds range you might want to say odd range between 2 and 10 you might want to keep it tight if you're doing some of the Australian racing is um, the winners are predominantly under 10 so you may want to do that it's up to you, but you've got three different cycles you can use. You can choose just to use one, or you can use the, all three. And there's three favourite settings, as I just mentioned. You can exclude the favourite in all the Dutches, or you can have the, the Dutch, the favourite, always in the previous losing Dutch. Or you can have the favourite rotate between Dutch 1 and Dutch 2. Um, automatically it goes from one to the other, from race to race. Now you can have control over the odds range that you want. You can control the favourite range. You may not want to. You may want to bet where the favourite must be three to one, for example, or you may want to bet with an odds range of up to forty, or an odds range up to thirty, or twenty, or ten. It's you can do what you want and go wide or keep it tight. And there's more in the box settings that you can access, but that's in the user guide link below. So the summary of the DD2 bot, it's Betfair botting, so you need to have a Betfair account. It bets on all races that are covered by Betfair around the world, whether it be US, France, Singapore, wherever, Australia, New Zealand. Now you need a Windows operated PC so it won't work on Mac or that, it needs to be uh, Windows 10 or Windows 8 or Windows 9. You're getting a 12 month license for one computer. 
So you can use it if you want um, to use it on another computer, you'll need another license, or if you want to use it on a VPS, make sure that that VPS is a Windows based VPS and that you can get VPSs from about €5.99 Euro from Time for VPS per month. Uh, it's a great way to bet and a great way to enjoy the racing. That's what I love about it. I can have it running. I've, uh, one of my laptops, I've got the uh, live racing on it. I can just uh, work away. The race comes up. I have a look and just see what bets I've got on it. That's the beautiful. It brings enjoyment back to racing without the physical work of working hard, working at the stakes, putting the bets on, getting frustrated. None of that. It does it for you. And it runs on autopilot, so it can run hands-free. You can run it onwards and onwards and onwards, but I, I tend to like stopping it at the end of one racing session, say the Australian session, stopping it, then restarting fresh, clear the memory, clear, clear the uh, chasing targets, and then start again. Okay, for me, it's just uh, I like it that way, and also recording results, it makes it simple for me. And the other thing, the most important thing for a lot of people, it allows you to bet small. So while you're learning, while you're wanting to get the strategy, you're not risking big amount of money, which I know a lot of you guys out there are hobby punters and just love the excitement and the enjoyment and the real the monetary value that is in material. So that is the DD2 bot. Um, I'm really excited. It's been one of the most exciting bots I've worked with. It's done. A, Michael's done a, a terrific job on this. And as I said, in the user guide, if you're interested, um, the user guide will explain a lot more for you, and there's a link in that page for the user guide. Thank you.